Welcome to this video overview of the Scheduler Duplicate Detection feature within TIBCO MDM 9.3. In this video, you'll learn how to configure the Scheduler Duplicate Detection using the TIBCO MDM Configurator and retrieve duplicate records within an existing repository of TIBCO MDM in a timely manner. In TIBCO MDM, data is retrieved and loaded from many sources such as web services, bulk import, and database loader. In the data retrieval process, the database might contain duplicate records. Therefore, you must perform the duplicate detection on the existing records on a timely basis. Before you start the configuration, let us take a look at some of the prerequisites. In TIBCO MDM, you must already have some repositories with relevant attributes. In the configurator, ensure that text indexing is enabled and text indexing receiver pool size is set to 1. TIBCO MDM uses the Netrix matching engine utility. Therefore, ensure that the TIBCO pattern search server is running. Also, ensure that repository model with index entities are defined in the indexer config.xml file. Now, let's create a duplicate detection job in the configurator. In the Job Details section, enter the job name and the description. Select the specific day, date, and time to run the job. You can choose to run the job at the start of the application. In the Parameters section, enter the basic parameters and specify the XML file name that is parsed for repository attributes. In the Search and Matching section, let's select Table for detecting duplicate records in a single repository. If you want to detect duplicate records in multiple repositories, then select View. The default value is Table. For the search mode, select Complete. For the first time, Search. All confirmed records are added. Later, when the next job runs, search is performed only on the added records between the interval of the last and current jobs. However, if you select the incremental search mode, only new or changed data is searched, and if a schedule or detection job was not run earlier, the server starts with the complete mode and the search is performed on the entire data. By default, the class name of the data provider is defined. It returns a set of records in a batch. Matching threshold refers to the matching score of the record. The value indicates a minimum matching expectation. By default, the score is 0.6 which means only the records matching 60% or more are returned by the matching process. In the Repository Details section, enter the repository name. If the repository is a root repository, select the checkbox. Specify the repository attributes to be used as matching criteria. Provide more weightage for matching records. Specifying weightage is mandatory. Besides the matching attributes, if you want other attributes to be displayed in the report, enter names of those attributes and save the job. Once the job is saved, the match record rule file is created at the following location. This file contains all the details entered during the duplicate detection job creation process. Also, after saving the job, the selected job details are added in the current jobs list. You can run the job immediately after specifying the configuration. Before running the job, you must select the node. Once that is done, select Run, and enter your enterprise credentials. The selected node is displayed in the Cluster Node field. After running the job either immediately or in the scheduled time, an event ID is triggered and the duplicate detection is performed. Based on the report type, specified in the Data Quality Workflow file, either the simple or detailed report is generated at the end of the process. You can download the report from the Generate Report for SDD activity.
the report is downloaded in the following location. By default, the report is saved in the text format. The simple report contains the count of duplicate records along with various other details. Now, let's have a quick recap of how to configure the schedule or duplicate detection. To begin with, select the duplicate detection job from the configurator. Then enter parameters, specify the repository attributes to be used as matching criteria, and various other details. After that, run the scheduler job. And lastly, download the report from TIPCO MDM. Learn more about TIPCO MDM scheduler duplicate detection on the TIPCO product documentation site. Thanks for watching.